I just filmed this whole thing and realized that I forgot to mention the elephant in the room. Yes, I chopped my hair off. It was beyond damaged. And now it's just super short. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about it. It's... I'm getting used to it, but um, if you hate it, please keep it to yourself. <laughs>sharing with you my 10 favorite green single eye shadows. But before before we get into that, I feel I need to, you know, provide a little bit of context, look backwards a little bit and just get some real clarity in terms of what this video is meant to accomplish. So, a few months ago, a brand that let's be honest, if we put our thinking caps on and really thought about what brand has just announced an upcoming green eyeshadow palette, I think I think we can all get on the same page. That same brand a few months ago released an all neutral palette and I did a similar video at that time where I talked about curating neutral single shadows that I have in my collection and people lost their mind over that video to the point where I had to turn the comments off. I have never, in the over 500 videos that I have on my channel, I have never turned the comments off. And it wasn't that people were coming for me. I got a few you're too old to have an opinion kind of comments, which honestly, try harder, but that's completely beside the point. The fact of the matter was that people were becoming so intensely vicious with each other that I couldn't keep a lid on it. And I couldn't, I couldn't delete comments as fast as they were coming in. So I just shut it all down. I am super protective of people who take the time to comment on my videos and I will not tolerate bullying of those people, particularly those who I know to be regular commenters and longtime subscribers. I will not, I will not tolerate it. You can say what you want about me, that's perfectly fine, but when people come for each other in the comment section under one of my videos, I am not going to take that lightly and I will not tolerate bullying. So you know that now, don't ruin it for everybody else. Okay, I just wanna be perfectly clear before we dive into it what the purpose of this video is. It is not to bash another brand. It is not to bash an upcoming palette of which I have never tried. I have no idea what the quality of it is. I haven't even seen swatches, so I can't weigh in on the shade selection or anything of that sort. So. Just shove that to the back of your mind. What I am doing is showing you 10 green eyeshadows that I happen to love. I'm not trying to dupe the palette that is going to be released soon. I am not trying to say that this is the perfect green palette. I am not doing this as a palette. If it was going to be a palette, it would not be just contained to these 10 shades. So let's be perfectly clear about that. I'm just sharing with you 10 shades from three brands that I happen to love. The brands that we're gonna be talking about are Cleona Cosmetics, Makeup Geek, and Adept Cosmetics. But before we talk about them, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, then welcome. My name is Kara. I am a 40-year-old professional and a mother of two. I'm also a huge, huge makeup lover. On my channel, we like to mix beauty, brains, and the occasional F-bomb. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, just keep watching. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's focus on these eyeshadows because that's what you're here for and that is what I am excited to talk about. So let's start with Makeup Geek. I have three from Makeup Geek that I wanted to share with you. The first one is this gorgeous Kelly Green. This is in the shade Transform and it's just this beautiful, vibrant Kelly Green. It is bright, without being neon. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I have this under my lower lash line, buffing out this shade right here, which we will get to in a moment. And this is part of their Power Pigment line. These came out a little while ago. So I am going to swatch them as we go through. I don't have any primer on my arm or anything of that sort. We're just going to do a single solitary finger swatch just so that you can get a better sense of what the color is. I do caution 
every time I do finger swatches that they can very much be deceiving. Sometimes they swatch better than they perform. Sometimes they swatch worse than they perform. I will say from experience working with all 10 of these shadows, I have zero concerns about their performance. I have enjoyed working with all 10 of these shades and they wouldn't be in this video if I did have concerns with them. So I just don't want to have to say 10 times over that this is a good shadow. Like I don't, anyways, uh, I don't think you want to hear that either. <laughs> Moving on, we've got a really deep olive green here. This is called Spilled Tea. It's one of the newer shadows from uh, Makeup Geek. And it's just this, like, like I said, a beautiful olive green nice depth to it. It doesn't pull too brown. And I just, I love these kind of shades, especially for this time of year. The last shadow from Makeup Geek that I want to talk about is this shade here called Epic. This is an older shadow of theirs, but it's sort of like a metallic deep forest green. And it's just a true deep green. Like there's no duochromatic shift or anything of that sort going on in there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. I think I'm going to say that about all of these. I will try to nip that in the bud at shade three. <laughs> but there it is. I do have this one on the outer portion of my lid today. I really like it because it just, it has like a satiny kind of finish. So I find that it's easier to work with than most really deep matte dark greens that I've tried. But it's not so metallic that it doesn't blend properly. Like I said, I have it in the outer portion of my lid today and it just deepens things up nicely without being glittery or sparkly, anything of that sort, but it does have this beautiful satiny shimmer to it. So if I wanted to use it all over the lids, it wouldn't look flat or too dark. It would catch the light in a subtle way. I just, I really like the finish of this shadow and that's why I've included it. So then let's move on to three shadows from Adept Cosmetics, and these ones are going to be a bit lighter than the ones that we saw from Makeup Geek. I did try to choose different tones of green just so that we didn't have like 10 olive greens or anything of that sort, and I only focused on singles rather than pulling greens from different palettes simply because if you were interested in either one of these shades as a single, you can get it without having to buy a whole palette. That's kind of the point. Okay, so moving on to Adept, this shade here is ACD00. So AC is Adept Cosmetics, D is Diamond Finish, and I think they've named these appropriately because these are very high shine. As you can see there. And you can see the contrast, I mean obviously the colors are different, but just in terms of the intensity of that foiled finish, between the Makeup Geek where I was saying it's a bit more of a satin finish versus the diamond finish over here, you can really see just how much more light catching this is. Uh, side note, they've just released their Plain Jane palette, which is all duo and multi-chrome shimmers. Best believe I ordered that, so review coming soon, but I love, I love their finishes. Like it just, ugh, it's so pretty. It's a little dark for me to use as an inner corner highlight, but you certainly could, or you could use it all over the lid. It's just, mm, it's scrumptious. Okay, moving on from there, we have ACS34. So the S stands for satin. So again, you're gonna get a little bit of that light reflection, but not nearly as much as on the diamond finish. And it's like, a nice bright Kelly green. It looks very similar to the one from Makeup Geek, but you can tell the diff like the finish is different. So there's really nothing flat about this. The, sh the satin finish is a rather subtle sheen. So it's, you can see, I mean, this one is still catching light like nobody's business. This one, it's just, it's like a softer matte. Like there's really no high shine to it at all but it's not as flat as say the matte one from Makeup Geek is. I think it's a really nice option because you can use it to blend into the crease and all that kind of thing as well, or just use it on the lid and either way it's gonna look really nice. I for one do not enjoy shimmery shadows in the crease. I only like them on the lid or the inner corner. 
um, and, but this is one that I would feel comfortable with using to blend out other shades as well. All right, and then for a matte finish from Adept Cosmetics, this is ACM 14, and you can see it's just this really fun limish kind of green, almost edging towards chartreuse, but not quite yellow enough for it. Sort of like if lime and chartreuse had a baby, that's the color that this would be. And this is the shade that I have um, in my transition area on my eyes today. All right, so that brings us to Cleona Cosmetics then. And while they are probably best known for their multi-chromes, their other shadows are freaking bomb as well. So I do have one of their matte shadows here. This is part of the Harvest Moon collection and it's in the shade Poison Ivy. And it's another beautiful olive kind of green. It's a little bit softer than the one from Makeup Geek up here. This one, and you know what, I'd say that they're very similar in terms of their actual color. Like they're both a true green, but like a really grungy kind of green. It's just that this one is deeper than this one. Sometimes with these kind of khaki colors, there's a bit of gray or brown kind of mixed into them. I find both of these options to be like true green, but again, it just comes down to the depth of the shade. But that's not to say that we're going to ignore their multi-chromes because you cannot talk about Cleona Cosmetics and not talk about their multi-chromes. They are top notch. They are so good. So I do have one of their jeweled multi-chromes here. This one is in the shade Trefoil or Trefoil. I don't know how to say it, but my gosh, I know straight up that the camera is not going to do this justice. And yet I'm going to swatch it anyway and just hope for the best. It's so gorgeous. Even though you can't see the shift in it, can you maybe? Er, even though you can't, you can still see how gorgeous it is just on the one note that the camera's picking up. But it shifts green to blue. There's almost like, almost a hint of gold when the light hits it in a certain way, but definitely a green, blue, almost purple kind of shift in it. Like it's just, it's stunning. I wish I could manipulate my hand in such a way that you can see just how beautiful it is because it's so, so incredible. They are so smooth. They last so nicely on the eyes. There's no creasing to them. Like they're just incredible shadows. Well worth the wait for shipping. Well worth the price tag. So incredibly stunning. Currently, Cleona has their site closed for purchases, but they will reopen. If you are interested in purchasing anything from them, I would highly recommend either signing up for their newsletter through their site, or at least following them on Instagram because they are great at keeping people updated in terms of what's going on with their site. So one of those two options or both um, would be highly recommended. They also have vibrant multi-chromes, which are a bit newer to their line, and this is one of them in the shade Courtyard. God, the camera's not doing it justice. It's like a bright, limish kind of green. I have it on the inner portion of my lids today. And it is, again, every bit as beautiful as the jeweled multi-chrome, but just in a more gentle kind of finish. Like they're a little bit, I don't want to say sheer, but th that's the best word I can come up with. Like it's, it's a more gentle version. It's just not quite as like wham in your face and yet it's not disappointing by any stretch whatsoever. This is one that I think would look beautiful all over the lid. It would look beautiful as an inner corner highlight. It's just a gorgeous shade. All right. Now, I have, in my opinion, saved the absolute best for last, and this is one of Cleona's iridescent glitter shadows, and this is in the shade Gilding. This is what I have on my inner corner today. It looks like a white shadow in the pan. It looks like nothing particularly exciting, but hold on to your butts. It is so beautiful. Again, this camera, not doing it justice. Oh my goodness. It is definitely a multi-chrome. There's definite green in there, gold, almost like a little bit of a lilac in there as well. And it is 
glittery without being chunky. Like it's just, I can't express how beautiful their formulation is. It is so smooth. They're so easy to work with. You can apply them with a brush or a finger. They last so well throughout the day. You don't get a ton of like glitter falling down on your face, anything of that sort. It washes off nicely at the end of the day. Just beautiful shadows, perfect formula, absolute perfection. All right, and there we have it. Those are the 10 single shadows from my collection that I highly recommend. And frankly, all three brands that I've mentioned, I highly recommend as well. Adept Cosmetics, I've just noticed today when I placed my order for the Plain Jane palette that they also allow you to offset your carbon imprint by paying a little bit extra. I think it worked out to like 44 cents on my order today. Um, so I think that that's really fantastic and really forward thinking of the brand. I love the ladies behind Cleona Cosmetics. I've had nothing but positive interactions with them. I just think they are genuinely kind and lovely people. And of course, Makeup Geek, owned by Marlena Stell, also here on YouTube. And I'm so glad that she is back. She's been doing a lot of live streaming, and I just think it's so wonderful to see her back on YouTube. I know she had taken a break, but she's an OG, and I have learned so much from her and continue to do so. So I am so happy to support all three of these brands. And there you have it. If you have single green eyeshadows that I haven't mentioned that you love, please leave them in the comments down below. All right, having said all that, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you in my next video. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.